I want to talk today about a term called emotional intelligence. Maybe you've heard it before, maybe you haven't, but it's actually thought of as a superpower that helps us recognize, understand, and manage our emotions. People with a high emotional intelligence have learned how to manage their emotions to drive positivity in their life. In today's episode, we're going to talk about 10 signs that you have high emotional intelligence. And don't worry, you can apply these 10 signs to your own life if you don't currently have them and work, it, work them into your daily uh, routines. So let's get started. Number one, you aware, are aware of your strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how to leverage your strengths and work on your weaknesses is something that high emotional intelligence people are great at. They know all about how to play into the, what they're good at, and they also know about what to work on. They don't get bogged down if somebody um, gives them a task that maybe it's something that they're not that great at. Well, in that case, they're going to work on it and try to get themselves to a place where maybe it becomes a strength in the future. Number two you don't get offended easily. When you know who you are, it doesn't bother you what other people think about you. It's actually, if you really think about it, most of the time they're projecting what they think about themselves and putting that on you. So knowing that you are happy in your current state and that your life goals are are your own, um, it's gonna stop you from getting offended easily when someone tries to come at you. Number three, you don't hold grudges. Holding grudges does zero good and brings stress into your life. Those people with high emotional intelligence know that when you add stress into your life, that's a bad idea. It stops you from um, achieving things that you really want to. It kind of, when stress reaches your body, it has an entire um, process of kind of shutting down your, the way your brain thinks. And, um, those people that do have high emotional intelligence know that holding a grudge against somebody, you know, putting someone in a negative light, does really no good for them. Number four, you don't interact with negative people. Those people that don't reflect a positive outlook on life deserve none of your time. Instead, those people with high emotional intelligence choose their friends very wisely. And I know that you may have family members that have a negative state and maybe you're always bringing you down. Well, you can choose how much you you hang around them and you can also help them get to a more positive state as well and bring them into your circle of positivity and help every, lift everyone together. Those people that have negative, um, kind of a negative outlook on life really don't serve much good for those that hopefully like us, that have high emotional intelligence that are trying to change and bring positivity into the world. Number five, you enjoy the journey. Reaching goals don't happen overnight, and it's actually often the journey of obtaining those goals that drive positive change in your life. Those people with a high emotional intelligence, they enjoy the ups and downs as they pursue their goals, knowing that each hurdle that they face actually makes them stronger. Number six, you block out negative self-talk. The mind has a funny way of reverting to negativity when it has time to itself. High emotional intelligence people are able to take a step back and replace those thoughts with positive ones. Over time, the brain realizes that there is no place for negativity and those thoughts begin to slow. So the more that you're able to inject positive thoughts into your mind and not grasp on to those negatives that come into play, which don't worry, we all get them. I do, everyone does. It doesn't matter, I don't care how, you know, our, our brains were designed millions of years ago and uh, back in the day, <laughs> we had to always think about the negative, negative things that may happen to us, a saber-toothed tiger coming after us and we have to run. We're always, we're always scoping situations for what might go wrong that's biologically ingrained in us. So we actually have to try hard to fight those and and replace those with more positive thoughts. And those people with high emotional intelligence, they know how to do that. Number seven, you know how to say no. This is key. Whether if it's an invitation to an event, a meetup with friends, 
or even just a coffee meeting that you have with somebody that reached out to you um, that wants to pick your brain. Yeah, we get those all the time. High, high emotional intelligence people know that their time is their most valuable resource and should try and do nothing out of obligation. Maybe you've heard the phrase, it's going to be a hell yes or a no, and that's how they respond to opportunities. Number eight, you enjoy time alone. High emotional intelligence people don't need external stimulation to enjoy themselves. Whether it's just getting lost in thought or reading a book, they enjoy and value their time alone. This is something I think we can all work on. Number nine, you understand that people are different. Okay, not everyone has the same life circumstances, and those with a high emotional intelligence see how their own life perspective may differ from others. This allows them to better see the world through someone else's eyes. Everyone has some type of privilege or things going against them um, in their lives. There's actually a term um, that I've come across recently. It's called sonder. And sonder means that other people have an entirely their own life going on. You might pass somebody by walking and you just think, oh, that, that, you know, that person just walked by me or, oh, I noticed they, they have a coffee in their hand. But that person has their own entire, you know, life going on. Their thoughts, their friends, their family, their, their goals. So Saunders is just being aware that other people have lots of things going on. And those people with high emotional intelligence, they're fully aware of that and they respect that. Number 10, you don't seek perfection. Those with high emotional intelligence know that perfection is actually impossible and trying to reach it is a fool's game. Instead, they focus on reaching their goals and they enjoy the journey as it comes. They never try to seek perfection. It's all that does, that only in trying to do that, all you're doing is setting yourself up for failure. And those with a high emotional intelligence, they know that they need to focus on the journey and not the end goal. Have an awesome day.